Hello to all. Welcome back. Today I am starting the module 3. So in the module 1 and module 2, we have learned about the basics and the shortcut key using alphabets. In continuation of the same, I hereby will will start upon the F1 to F12 shortcut key. Have you ever wondered, looking at the keyboards, the various functionality embedded in them in the F1 to F12? Dear students, if you are working upon laptop, then below F1, you will be always seeing some other modality with respect to hardware. That is, uh, increase or decrease in sound. It can also have something to do with the functions of brightness etc. But these functions also have some other aspects other than the required hardware modality. So let us start today the functionality of F1 to F12. These functions can be used in conjunction with Alt, Shift and Control. Today I am going to demonstrate only pure functions. So let's start. So as you can see here, we are going to learn today shortcut keys from F1 to F12. I request all my students to keep a Excel open so that as and when I proceed, they are with me. Dear students, keep a data ready such that because this functionality will become visible only in case of application on a data. So suppose this is the data on which I am going to apply the functionalities of F1 to F12. Dear students, if you are working on laptop, one has to press function F1. If you press only function, that is only F1, then the hardware mode becomes activated. So if you have, we are doing the software mode, then you have to press function F1. Whereas in the case of desktop, you can only press F1. So let us start now. So the first function key, as I have already written here, it's open Excel help menu. So dear students, whenever you have a query regarding Excel, needn't go further, just press F1. Remember students, you have to press function F1. So as soon as you press function F1, Excel help menu gets activated. Here you can search any query whatsoever by using the search online help. So you can see here the Excel, this help menu is embedded here. If you want to change the column width, drop down risk, freeze etc. So these are the functionalities available on the first one, first function called X F1 that is embedded in function F1. Second function F2. Okay, dear students, suppose this data is wrong. That is, I am talking about D and D6. If I have to include, say, any other modality, then the shortcut key for edit function is F2. Can you see? As soon as I press F2, I can change the data. Okay. So, always remember if you are in laptop, you have to press function F2. Let us go to the third modality that is F3. Uh, dear students, I am using Windows F10. So, it depends on which module you are using. So, in some old windows, these functions are not working and the new windows may have new functionality. So, on the whole, F1 to F12, they have not changed much. But still, there may be some deviation. F4. Let's see what is F4. Okay, dear students. So, this is the 
answer and suppose I want to copy this just press function F4 okay so just uh, I'll repeat once again this function F4 is with respect to the highlighting which I had done in the previous column just now can you see here so if this is marked yellow highlighted with yellow I want to do the same thing here I've just press function F4 so instead of taking my mouse going to the font clicking on the highlighter I can just press function F4 suppose you have to do even these as highlighted as in yellow color just press function F4 so this function F4 is allowed to repeat the previous function so this is nothing to do with the addition and deletion of data it's only with respect to the formatting tool for example I deleted this and if I go down and press function F4 this will also get deleted because here I am repeating the previous formatting function okay so this has to do with the F4 that is repeat action coming to F5 F5 we have already done in this alphabetic when we did the shortcut keys F that is control G similarly this is F5 is go to function as discussed you have to just press the reference the way you want the key to go for example navigation of the key my key is in D2 so I press F5 here and just you can type to say you want to go to G555 and say ok ok as you can see the with the help of go to functionality my cursor gets navigated to G555 I want to come home control home ok so this is go to function next function is activation of shortcut keys on the ribbon that is F6 so dear students I'll be taking a special module on this complete ribbon and this stretch is called as ribbon so as you can see I have so many modalities here home insert page layout so in a corporate world these classes are with respect to taking you from classroom to boardroom so in this scenario one must practically know how to do the excel workings without the help of your seniors so it will imbibe in you a lot of confidence if you are embedded with this technology so let us see what is f6 <coughs> so as you can see you have to press f6 twice as soon as you press f6 twice the alphabets are highlighted these alphabets are the shortcut keys of the, the ribbons suppose I want to go to page layout there are two ways to do take a mouse or run around it or just simply press function F6 this gets highlighted thereafter I just have to press the alphabet so I wanted to get the page layout as you saw I pressed P immediately all the modalities and functionality under page layout gets highlighted you don't even have to memorize it now suppose you want to go to effect theme print bring forward anything so about any of this functionality so say for example I want to go to TF so you can press TF here can you see the fonts gets activated so these are the modalities which can be extended for usage without the help of mouse so dear students I request you to practice this because you can with the help of this F6 you can access so many functionalities okay so now let us go to the next one F7 so who doesn't want spell check we always thought spell check is available in word document not so ever just press F7 and you can see the spell check starts so it is already saying suggesting it's saying sensex is not there in dictionary so I can ignore once or I can add to dictionary so that next time it will not show upon as a spell check requirement so F7 is for spell check coming to next one F8 so 
if you observe dear students if i press f8 so let me do previously without pressing f8 so whenever i move my cursor it covers only the cell in which it is there and if i move to the next cursor it is not carrying forward from this okay so suppose i press function f8 and just press c what happens the cursor cursor hangs on from the starting can you see here so this is called as extend selection which is very much written here okay and f8 is used for extend selection mostly used for cover the data and do the even it can be copy paste technique or it can even the print technique there is no shortcut key for f9 coming to f10 as discussed previously so f10 is similar as f6 wherein your shortcut keys gets activated so f10 is activation of shortcut key now the next one f11 dear students especially my marketing students my finance students if you are doing a presentation to in front of your boss and you are explaining this so suddenly you want to if you can press f11 okay so you can see my system is working buffering you can see a chart gets embedded in the sheet so this technique is very useful in presentation okay so f11 is nothing but wherein you can incorporate a chart so f11 i'll show you once again my dear students just see and you can see the chart is next to that okay just see here i cover the data i cover the data just press f11 immediately chart chart comes so very important tool and useful tool for acing a presentation and coming to the last one f12 f12 so dear students coming to the next functionality f12 so f12 represents save and close so if i want to save this data so and close it so just press function f12 you can see save and close so these are the shortcut keys which we have learned today using f1 to f12 so now let us understand so i just take you through a quick pick recap so here you have the functionality keys f1 so f1 is for opening excel help menu edit menu is f2 f4 is repeat action f5 is go to function f6 is activation of shortcut keys f7 spell check f8 extend selection there's nothing for f9 f10 same as f6 f11 chart and f12 save and close so before we conclude the module 3 dear students i request you to practice the same so that you will be hands on in application application <laughs> now let us see some of the trivias so the first electronic computer in yak which was weighing more than 27 tons and it took up to 1800 square feet for it to get installed and dear students you will not believe for 20 years that is about 20 years back the computer control launch code of us missile nuclear missile this was the code okay all zeros and email was invented before world wide web so i thank you and please practice the same at your end thank you very much